Pam here from How To Pam. Today what I'm doing is I'm going to cut up some uh, bones that I got from the butchers for my, my dogs. I'm going to use the... I have a box here of bones that I got from the butcher, which is a lot cheaper than going to a pet store and buying them. And they're all fresh and frozen. So I've got my saw here. And uh, I'll cut these bones up because, of course, different dogs different sizes, you're, gonna, you're not going to want to give a little dog a big bone, right? And it's much cheaper to cut them up to the sizes you need. And of course Harley would like this all to himself, but we're going to cut it smaller so that Libby can have some too, right? If you buy bones at the pet store, those things can run you from 5 to $6 per bone. And if you're like me, you have more than one dog. I have three, three different sizes. I have a Chihuahua, a Cocker Spaniel, and a Part Newfie. And uh, that can get pretty expensive considering, um, well, they go through them pretty quick. And I find that when they're frozen, it's fresh and it's better for them instead of the um, preserved or I think they're partially cooked or dried or something. They don't seem to last them as long and that's how that helps keep their teeth clean is the hard bone. That's the only thing good enough for them to gnaw on. So uh, I'm going to cut this up into some different sizes for my guys. And uh, it saves a lot of money in the long run. I mean, a box this size, I only paid like $7 for. And can you imagine? You'd pay $7 for one bone. So I'm saving and I'm all about frugal. So I'm going to cut this up. So I'm going to cut a piece for Harley. I'm going to cut, try and get a couple of different sizes out of this one. As you can see, he's anticipating. Ready? Go. Harley's being pretty patient. You want to be careful when you're handling any kind of a tool, so slow and steady. check this out. This is like a fraction of the amount that I would have to pay for these at a pet store. And I got a whole box of them. All I have to do is put in the labor of cutting them up. And these guys just love them, don't they? And he's even helping clean up. <laughs> yeah, you want a bone? Okay, good girl. Yeah, so that's a pretty good deal, I would say. And that's how I save some money on my dog bones. Thanks for watching.